Hello, ladies and gentlemen. So, I wanted to talk to you guys about this because last night I was a very passionate guy in everything I discussed with you all. And I wanted to to explain to you why I was so passionate and a little bit angry last night. Look, I get not everyone's gonna like me. I get that. I know, I know everyone's not gonna like the things that are hanging on my wall. I did rearrange some stuff and I put some, and I took some stuff down, but there's a thing I've, I've been trying to explain to you for the past seven years, and that is, I've always loved women. I've always had a passion for women. Ever since I was born, every single female that's come into my life has, has, he had a huge impact on how I approach situations. And you may not agree with how I go about talking about this or things of that nature, but women have always had a huge impact on my life. Whether it's my mom, whether it's a, a female friend of mine, whether it's you know someone who I consider a sister or something along those lines or a cousin, a female cousin, or a female aunt, or whatever it is. I'm not saying, I don't want this to sound weird or anything, but I've always had an appreciation for females ever since I was, you know, very, very little. And females have had a huge impact on my life, and I have I feel like I've had a huge impact on a few females in my life. Whether it's a female friend I've known since you know, since the beginning of high school or since first grade, whatever it is, there's always been some sort of a female friend or a, a female role model in my life. And I still have female friends to this day that I would love nothing more to date than to date them. But that's not realistic right now. And me being realistic, the first thing, the major thing in order to get a girlfriend, I know is to get up my license and get a job. I know that. 150%. I know that's what it takes. I, I love to, you know, to talk to women, even though you guys don't get to see that interaction between me and that said female, it happens. It may not be the best situation or it may be a total disaster on my part to talk to women and do things for women that normal guys would not do, like holding the door open, getting flowers for her, getting her jewelry, or you know, just having a simple conversation with that said female. And what I want to dive into right now is if that is if there's any females out there who what who understand what I'm talking about here in this section that I'm about to talk about. I I'm passionate about all the sports teams I follow, whether it's the San Francisco Giants, the Golden State Warriors, the San Jose Sharks, I think I said that one already, the San Francisco 49ers, the San Jose, uh, the San Francisco Giants, uh, the Ohio State Buckeyes the Washington Huskies, even though Washington Huskies will probably be taken off that list because Jake, this Jake Browning's last season as a Washington Huskies quarterback. But there are so many people out there who don't understand my love for, you know, sports, watching sports. I played sports at one time in my life. I played basketball and I played soccer. That I have love for every sport, whether it's, you know, females playing it, males playing it, anything. I'm not saying that I'm gay or any of that stuff, because I'm not. Because I do love watching female soccer. I do watch loving, uh, gymnastics or cheerleading or any of that stuff. You know, but it, not to be weird or anything about those things. And... I love to watch certain TV shows like Game of Thrones, like Suicide Squad, even though there's only one female in that film. There's only two females in that film. You know, Warcraft, Harry Potter, 
those fandoms I love to be a part of because there's so much story, there's so much entertainment coming out of those uh, things. But the point of this whole video is that women play, you know, so much of a role in my life. Whether it's, you know, talking to a female friend about what I need to do to make them comfortable, but not too comfortable that it make, it becomes weird and crazy and stuff like that. I talk to, you know, about 10 or 15 females a day, whether it's on Facebook, whether it's via text message. I talk to females and they understand where some of my mindsets are. Not, they're not bad mindsets. Some of them can be bad, but I don't share that with every single person, every single female I come across in my lifetime. I share the good memories. I share the fun experiences that I have with females from time to time on this channel. And you guys may interpret this all wrong, but females are important to every guy's life. Whether it's a girlfriend, whether it's a wife, whether it's a complete stranger, there's got to, there's some female out there that wants you to see you succeed in every aspect of life. Whether it's, you know, uh, filming a video, you know, filming or watching movies, watching TV shows, getting, doing jobs things, you know, getting married, all those things. Females care. And that may they may not seem what I not a lot of may seem that like they like me, but there are a few out there that care about my well being and care about what happens to my life. And those are the people those are the females that I truly talk to every or try to talk to every single day and tell them how I'm feeling and all the experiences that come with with that that anger or that resentment or that, you know, sadness or happiness or excitement, whatever it is, females understand that better than anyone because they've gone through so much shit that you don't, they don't know how to express themselves. Guys have that too. It's not, and I'm not, trying to sound gay or any of that stuff because I'm not. I've I've said that time and time again. I'm not gay and I never will be gay. But females know how to deal with certain situations with guys. Whether it's a jackass, whether it's, you know, a nice guy who finishes last every single time or a nice guy that finishes first or just a guy that's just out there doesn't know what he wants with life sometimes that's how I feel I feel like I don't know what I want with life I know I want to get a job and I know I want to get my license but I don't know how to figure things out to make those things happen it may sound like I'm complaining or I'm you know just rambling on and on about this but it's it's just it's just there and I'm going to talk to some more females today and see how they perceive things. And see how you guys perceive things once this video goes live later today. I don't know what else to tell you guys. You guys know the drill. Keep real. And I will see you guys with the tomorrow, later today with a brand new video. You guys know the drill. Bye bye.